Hello and welcome to the Modern Prairie Homestead. We are on week two of getting our homestead up and running. We have already started doing a few projects around the farm, but I'm just gonna give you a little taste of what we're working on today. Project I'm gonna be working on this morning is tearing out this overgrown garden. It's a pretty big eyesore right off of the deck of our house. I'd like to convert it into a fire pit area for our family. While I'm doing that, Andrew's gonna do an oil change on his truck. And then after that, we have a bit of a cleanup behind our future chicken coop. And it's a lot of weed eating to do. So we put a, quite a few miles on the truck in the last couple of months. In the last two weeks actually on our, our drive from the lower mainland in uh, British Columbia all the way to the prairies here in Alberta. So I think she's uh, due for an oil change. We're going to get started. Handy dandy. Web. Setting up the chicken house. Day uno. So we're gonna start cleaning up this back backyard of the chicken house. Andrew's gonna whipper snip it today. We will be putting some chicken wire along this fence. And then the chickens will be able to rotate between that section and this section yeah we want to create two pastures for the chickens just so we don't abuse the space too much and we can rotate them um correct me if i'm wrong Anilla, this was set up i believe for rabbits before this building so we're gonna make this our uh, our hen house here main chicken coop but right now it's all set up for rabbits it is good that it has some it has some nice windows for good ventilation and a door to get back to this back pen already so it has some good chicken features, it just was not built initially for chickens, it doesn't seem. All right, and we're gonna start. <laughs>
bit of a clean up day around the property. Andrew is currently weed eating behind our future chicken coop. When we took over this property, we realized that three cats had been abandoned here. They are currently living underneath of this building. So there are a couple pens behind these buildings that are already fenced that the dogs can't get into. So we're just gonna cut a little cat hole. We're gonna set up a nice little shed for them and that can be their home for the time being. We're gonna put some wet food in there, some dry food and see what happens. Just trying to create a space for the cats that the dogs can't get to. The cats are welcome to go wherever they want. If anything, we encourage them to be all over the place to keep the mice population down, keep the critters out of the house and out of the, uh, out of the buildings and the garage. Um, but seeing as our dogs are not overly friendly towards them, at least so far, we want to give the cats a spot that they can go that our dogs aren't going to bother them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch our video and checking out our channel. I hope you uh, hope you like and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have you along for this journey. We're gonna try and document it as best we can, all the things that we do here on the homestead, and share it with you guys. So again, thank you.